Hi, Dennis here, Capital Training and Cheering. We're, we're doing a recap on the video that we did uh, starting a two-year-old on a roping dummy. This is, I, I believe, my favorite video that we've done so far. And it doesn't matter if you're ever going to rope a day in your life. It doesn't matter if you can't rope a lick. <laughs> this doesn't matter. It's not about roping. This is about horsemanship. And you're going to see a colt that's green, very green, and you're going to see him resist me on almost everything that I want him to do. And that's, that's helpful in the learning stage because if they just do it, you, you wonder, well, how do you, how do you get them to do it? You're gonna see when I'm trying to get him to come up to, this is the, the rope dummy. I got, got little leg wraps on my calf here so he doesn't bump his legs together this morning. So anyway, the colt that I'm riding is gonna be resisting and getting up into position. Now, the position is my clear mental picture here and how they approach it. So I know exactly that I want this horse going to a spot that is my spot to rope from. Some of you might want to be here. Some of you might want to be here. Some of you might want to be. It doesn't matter where that spot is. You pick the spot and, and you get your horse comfortable in that spot. Not only, not only with his front end, but with his hind end. If his hind end's way off over here, he's thinking about leaving over here. He's not paying attention. If his hind end's way over here, he's getting their heads in the way, you can't see the, the animal to rope it. So if, if we're right here, to me, just, well, I like my horse's nose to be just about at the hip, maybe just a little bit behind the hip, and I like to be about, oh, I'd say, two foot to the left, of the animal that I'm getting ready to rope, so I can I've got a, a good shot at seeing the head and it, it being able to uh, position my horse so it's the easiest for me to rope in. That's the whole point of this. You're going to see this colt at times uh, resist going forward. So where where is he feeling the resistance from me then? At both legs, trying to get him to step up forward. Sometimes you're going to see him take his hip off to the left. So where do I meet him, meet him with his resistance? With my left leg. Not real far back. I'm not one to put my legs real far forward to get the front end or real far back to get the hind end. I like to leave my legs underneath my body. And the reason being is if, if I turn my upper body and if I've got my leg way up there in the front, I mean, it becomes too complicated for me to think about doing that when I'm riding. But if, if I've got my legs right underneath me and I use my leg just slightly back to move the hind end over and just slightly forward to move the front end over and right in the middle to get the whole horse to move sideways, that's, that's, that's the, how I'm using my legs. Now, uh, this colt is just starting to learn how to ride one-handed. So you're, you're going to see how I use the bridle reins to help keep his head and neck coming straight out of his body so that I can assume this position. Sometimes he might look off to the right and I've got the rope in my hand here, so I use the rope to help me. Uh, the point I'm getting at here is I want you to go back and re-watch this video because almost from start to beginning, you're gonna see me addressing resistance that the colt is putting up in not wanting uh, through a lack of understanding, whatever the reason he doesn't want to, doesn't matter. He doesn't want to get into the position that I want him to be in. So you're going to get to see me work through that situation several times, almost throughout the whole whole film. And the point being is this. Uh, yes, I'm getting him up to a roping dummy here, but it doesn't matter if it's a, if it's a ditch you're getting ready to cross or it's a jump you're getting ready to go over or, or a a tree you're getting ready to go by, or maybe it's a car in the parking lot your horse doesn't want to go by. It doesn't matter. This is, a, this is an opportunity for you to see how I meet the colt where he's at with the amount of resistance that it takes so that he can see where there's a, a different way out. If I, if I put too much pressure on him to, to help him to find it, I'll scare him, and then he'll never find it. So, But I meet him where he's at and I wait on him. I meet him where he's at, and I wait on him. What I'm waiting for is for him to come off of the boundary that I've set, step into that freedom, <laughs> feel, 
feel that sweet spot and get comfortable in the right position. So uh, I think if, if you go back and look at it, look at that video again with these tips in mind, you're going to see a tremendous amount of, of information that will be beneficial to you in every situation that you come in counter with with your horse. So I hope you enjoy that. Thank you for, for your time.